Here is how to view, access, and download standards in Mnemonic. First thing is to log in. If you're logging in for the first time, you will be prompted to select a facility. Once you've done so and hit saved, please refresh the page and your facility will appear. To access the list of standards associated with this facility, click on the right-hand side, CO Registers. Once you've done that, you want to click the name of the uh, list of standards here, the name of your CO Register, and do not search for the standards in this search bar here. You need to go down to the lower level by clicking, in this case, Oakland Purchased Industry Standards. This will load in your list of standards where you have the ability to either scroll and select the exact standard you're looking for, or you can do a keyword search for the standard up in the search bar here. There are several different icons associated with the standards. Green means this document has been purchased for your entire organization. Yellow means this document has only been purchased for this specific facility. And red means this document has not been purchased by your organization at all, which means you will not be able to view this standard. You will just be able to track it here in your list. To do a quick search, uh, all you have to do is type in some keywords associated with the standard, hit enter, and this will return your results. Please note that this search bar here is not going to give you the results of every single standard in our database. This is just going to search against the standards that you have purchased and added to this specific list of standards. If you wanted to do a search of the larger library, all you have to do is click up here where it says Compliance Library, and then click Mnemonic Library, and this would bring you to a page where you can do a search of Mnemonic's wider database. From here, to access the standard, I'm going to click its title. This will bring me to the document page of, in this case, ISO 9001. There's a few things to point out on this page. Uh, you have the view PDF option. If we click this, this will take us uh, to a page where we can view the ISO 9001 standard. If the publisher allows the ability to download standards, you can click this to download a PDF version of that standard. That PDF version will have a watermark on it uh, to indicate that it's been downloaded by you and by your organization. From this page, scrolling down, you can see we have the version history of the standards. So if you wanted to go back and view a previous version of the standard, maybe you want to take a look at ISO 9001 from 2008, all you have to do is click on that title, and now you'll see you're ver uh, viewing the 2008 version here. You can click View PDF or download this as well. Let's go back to the current version. If I click View PDF here, this will take me to a PDF viewer online here where I can view my ISO 9001 standard. Uh, you have the ability to go through and go to a specific portion of the standard. You can also do a keyword search of the standard up here, or you can simply just scroll through and find what you're looking for or go to the exact page number. A couple other elements to point out on this page. As I mentioned, if the publisher allows it, you can download a copy of the standard. You'll download a PDF copy that's watermarked. You can also download a shortcut to this standard. This is helpful because uh, think of it like bookmarking the standard, except instead of having to go into your internet browser, you can have a tiny shortcut that could be available on your desktop. So let me show you how this works. So if I click download standard, You'll see that now downloaded uh, up here, I've got a copy of that standard. And if uh, I could put this in a folder or on my desktop, but if I just click this for now, you'll see that now this will redirect me back to the page uh, pretty easily with just one click. So downloading a shortcut gives you fairly simple and quick access to your desired standards list. So if you wanted to put together some sort of favorites list, this would be a good way uh, to do that there. On the left-hand side of the page, there are a few other options to view the standard. First, I'll cover this. This is if you want to view your standard or your documents offline, you could do so by downloading Mnemonic's mobile application. All you have to do is click these links or scan the QR code. The mobile app is fantastic because it'll give you access to your list of standards, except you don't need an internet source to view them. So once you first download the mobile app and you go and you take a look at your standards on the mobile app. The next time you view them, if, uh, if you don't have an internet, internet connection, you'd still be able to bring up ISO 9001 on your uh, iPhone or your iPad or your Android device. So that way you would still have access to the standard uh, that you require. The last thing to point out on this page is this compare to feature on the left-hand side here. If historical versions are available, 
and the specific publisher allows us to create redline comparisons of the previous standards, you will have the option to click one of these and compare the current version of ISO 9001 with any of these previous versions. Now I've got this separate tab open here because sometimes it takes a little bit of time to load, but if I clicked this uh, compare to ISO 9001 2008, it would load in this page here. So here you can see on the left hand side we've got my 2015 version and on the right hand side we've got my version from 2008. The purple bubbles line up the exact portions that have been changed. The yellow indicates this section has been exactly switched. So here you can see it says 5th edition versus 4th edition. And here you can see the dates have been changed from 2008 uh, to 2015 here. This red purple text indicates portions that have been removed from the standard. So in this case, this uh, connected version has been removed and is no longer present in the current version or sections that have been added. So if you see any red or purple, it means that section was uh, removed or added. Yellow means the section has been directly substituted. And this purple cloud is telling you how to line up your standards there.